Meet me outside. Hey, meet me outside. Hey, meet me out. Hey. I'm a south side cuz meet me outside. That's where <laughs> we from. Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is ITC Podcast Crew, episode 33. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Back at y'all boys another uh podcast. Mm-hmm. How y'all back in this baby? name, man? We back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but we back. It's been a few been about yeah, a it's month. Been a f- <laughs> it's been some weeks, <laughs> my nigga. <clears throat> it's been I think about- so. It's been I like two weeks. It's been long enough to where niggas be like, "Where the podcast at?" Yeah, it's been. Oh, two okay. Weeks. Mm. Oh, y'all miss it. We coming. Mm-hmm. Take it easy. It's been a couple of weeks, but uh, we back in this thing. We got plenty to kind of discuss. Some crazy stuff has been going on the past couple of weeks. But before we get into it, how's everybody mental? How's everybody been feeling? Everybody good? What's been going on? Hey, I can go. Ladies, I mean, ladies are usually first. Yeah. Um, wow. but I mean, I've been good. Everything <laughs> <laughs> has been Gucci this way, y'all. Gotta go first. Um, <laughs> yo, you. <laughs> that's why I know you was the biggest a hole. That's why Chill I know. Wow, bro. Chill that's out. why I know. I know Ross ain't lying. Normally, Ross, I would question it. Ross is a liar. But, but you know what? Lying. Anyways, y'all, I've been good, Gucci. Everything is wonderful. What can I say, man? God is good. That's good. That's God good. Is good, man. He, man. he provides every step of the way. Not trying to get religious, but I don't care. He provides every step of the way. You better get religious. He takes care of me, you understand? He takes care of my family. He takes care of my people, my friends, people that are surrounding me. Everything's good. Hey, Everything's man. great. Can't beat that. What about Can't you, Joe? It's been a minute since you were on the podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has been a What's minute. New? Uh, uh, I know, right? Um, yeah, so shit, I've been good, man. Um, again, like Mally said, giving giving honor to God. You know, mm-hmm. who's the head of my life? You know, got definitely got to do that. Um, he has uh, provided me with a lot of great things over the past couple of months. Uh, just moved into my. New place with my girlfriend. So, hey, man. Hey. Um, yep, yep. You know, so. She, she, she back there, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. You better stand up, girl. Yeah, not now, but you know. Every- <laughs> Stupid. Yeah. But um, uh, but no, no, no. Everything was everything's been good, man. Just been living life, just doing music, having a, a great, great time. Just enjoying like oh yeah and i turned 30 so hey you know, hey big yeah. man happy, happy birthday, 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 birthday yeah. once again that thank y'all awesome. thank y'all you know fuck ross because you know ross ross is in on on the, on the gag so you know he him was. Also, actually, actually it's for him and warren because there he was still both in on the game actually i had thank to get you. you back you owed me that one like, I did. From, I did. From the 25th. Yeah, I mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about that one. I did. I did. I had a great time doing that. You know what I'm saying? That was crazy. So I already know. I already knew what it was. When y'all, when I seen everybody, I was like, oh, shit, this nigga Warren here tried. Definitely got me back. You know what, mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I know, man. <laughs> so, but anyway, I've been good, man. It's just how y'all been? That's a blessing, bro. Um, Been straight here as well, man. You know, it's just good to see how people doing good, feeling good, mm-hmm. looking good. Mm-hmm. Um, and encouraging each other to keep on pushing forward. Um, <laughs> just working on growth, moving forward with people that's you know gonna help me grow as well. You know what I'm saying? So that's a that's a major key in my life. Reach, reaching that uh peace. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's, that's that's where it's at. That's what I'm seeking. And same here, man. Just thankful that I'm here, alive and well, family doing uh good. I had a little scare incident with one of my uh, close cousins he hit me up um i want to say last week he had a, a medical scare but uh found out today that you know he he's been released from the hospital you That's know what i'm saying bro. and it's, it's just one of those things where you know i tell warren we talk about this all the time life is so damn short and one minute you hear Next minute you be gone. So it's just I'm just been very thankful that I'm just in the situation I'm in now, uh, to you know just provide for the family and 
it's been pretty good, man. Your boy been been happy, you know what I'm saying? So it's 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 good. You feel me? So that's it. I'm loving it. I'm loving his energy. So um yeah. scripture of the day is coming from Second Timothy chapter. <laughs> <laughs> you I like really that. Childish, I like that. Yeah. I thought he was gonna go ahead, you know. So this uh, turned this turned to a Bible study real quick. Cool, cool testimonies. God said, <laughs> "Let that be." So let's get into the uh, uh, this uh, topic with Tori. I don't know if all of you guys have Tory. heard his yeah his album or whatnot. Uh, he dropped it. What was that? Like two weeks ago? Yeah, it was like it was like two weeks ago. He yeah. dropped it, and he two dropped it out weeks. of nowhere. He actually announced on Instagram that he was gonna go live, but in actuality, he dropped a song on SoundCloud, and then he dropped the album. And basically, throughout the album, he's he's giving his takes on his side of the story and what really happened from his point of view. And uh, I wanted to kind of get y'all thoughts and opinions on it. What y'all, what y'all thought about it? Do y'all even give a damn? <laughs> Who shot <Yeah>. Meg? <laughs> that's, yeah. that's the question. Is yeah, um, <laughs> man. Shit, I, yeah. It, was, it was it was who shot Ghost in, <laughs> yeah. a couple of months ago, nigga. Nah, shit, that one, that one, I'm gonna be honest, bro. I'm still kind of feeling that one, bro. I'm still heard about the Ghost situation. <laughs> yeah. Um, As we all, I haven't even watched Power Book Two. Um, you sleep, you sleep. Well, cause I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> I can't, I can't do it, man. But now, nah, um, I don't know, man. This is 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 getting kind of juicy now because you know he was dropping things like how you want to identify the shooter when your back was turned. Um, her and the relationship with the best friend doesn't seem like it. It's where it was anymore. Mm. Um, we still ain't really hearing you know anything from her or the bodyguard on their part yet. Uh, but again, I know everything is still in court, so you, you can't really speak on much. But um, I don't know, man. I just think people are kind of getting way too invested uh, too soon. And um, we just, at this point, with him saying he didn't do it, I mean, with her coming out saying he did it and then him saying he didn't, um, at this point now, we just need to back up because if you wasn't in that area at the time when it happened, <clears throat> We shouldn't really just be going 110 on anybody's side. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I think we need to wait till the facts come out, whatever it is that's going on, and then judge from there. All right. What yeah. about you? What about you, man? Well, about you so we did we did a podcast a while back and we talked about it when I think when it first hit, like when it was fresh. Yeah, and I was one of them gun ho me man, my girl, man, that's messed up. Tori, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? For all of that, but I don't have a problem with saying if I'm wrong about something, I don't have a problem with recanting. So I'm about to recant the rant that I put out there, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I'm going to label this as I don't fucking know because <laughs> <laughs> because. The details on both sides were so intricate. Mm -hmm. It's it's it, 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 it. They both sound really good. It's like you want to believe, you know, Megan. You want to believe Tori. Right. They both saying something completely different. At this point, I think um, I don't know who did it. I real honestly, I don't care. I, it's just one of those things. Like, dang, that's crazy. It just messed up. Because mm -hmm. in the end of the day. When um when the case closes and they release when it becomes public, we're gonna find out what happened anyways. It's just, just exactly. a time thing. It's a time mm -hmm. thing. So you just have to wait until it all comes out. Megan might be the one that's going to jail for lying. <clears throat> Who knows? But I'm saying um we really don't know. I mean, it's two different sides of the story. Of course, Megan came out first saying that she, you know, she got <laughs> shot or whatever, but now that I think about it. Really didn't see any evidence of that except for that she was bleeding from the bottom of her feet in the in the in the video. Um and Tori when his whole little saga <laughs> in, in every song he, he talked about the incident and mm -hmm. previous incidents between them and their so called relationship. Mm -hmm. Um I think what he did was very it was very uh strategic and very smart. 
for him to do that because he knew and he waited because he knew that people wanted to hear from him, especially his fans. Mm -hmm. People wanted to give him a chance. And so he was like, you know what? I'm going to sit back and not say nothing. I ain't going to say not a nothing. I ain't going to make a peep. You're not going to see me. You're going to see me in no clubs, no features, no nothing. Once he dropped that album, he's everywhere. Clubs, like all types of you know events and stuff like that. He did what he had to do to support himself during this time where he's getting a lot of backlash. So I respect right. him for that. I respect him for being respectful to the situation, regardless if he did it or not. I just have to say, it was a great album. <laughs> it was a great album. It was a, it was a great album. It was a great money move. It was a great right. album. Um, however, I do not believe that everything he said was true. Just like I don't believe that everything mm -hmm. Megan said was true. I think what he did was he put a little bit of Hollywood salt in there to beef up so he can keep this going and make profit. Artists do it all the time. I mean, we know that he has an X on his back or whatever because he owns his own masters and whatnot. Um, people are upset about that. <laughs> They're mad at that. So... I think on both sides, they both made powerful money moves. You know, mm -hmm. now Megan got a whole lot of sympathy through Coach Gucci Prada. Who else? I mean, good Lord. Like, so many sponsors have blocked her away since she's been injured. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? What so her net worth is gone. Not. Her net worth has gone, like, <laughs> tripled in, like, <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Two months, I know, right? And like, went two months, so I yeah. can't knock her either. But if she lied, it's messed up. Yeah, and that's just what it is. And if Tori's bad. lying, he's messed up. Mm -hmm. But at this point, they're both great artists. They're both doing what they have to do to survive during this little debacle. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, the courts is going to be the one to, to bring out the, the the truth. So mm -hmm. my mom always told me it's three sides to every story: the his side, her side, and the truth. So. Mm -hmm. We shall see. I know that was wrong, but hey, that's what it is. No, no, no. Get that hell out. Get that bitch out. Yeah, I mean, it, it, only thing about the thing with Tori, I don't think he would... I don't know. I don't think he would fluff more to, to make his side look worse or to add any spice to it. Because I feel like he already know he got the target on his back from everybody. Mm -hmm. So I think if he was going to come with it, he was going to come with the truth. Like, I mean, even when he was saying that, what made me kind of believe some of the stuff he was saying was the fact that he was still admitting, like, man, hey, I miss you. Call me. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. you know, he was still being vulnerable to the point to where it's like, I'm still feeling the same, even though we're going through what we're going through. I still want you to be here. <clears throat> so, I don't know. That piece of vulnerability, uh, vulnerability, mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It just kind of had me like, because mm, the nigga ain't gonna do that if he, no, nah, that's lying. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be ready. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. It's tough. But again, I can't be too invested. I don't know what happened. I wasn't there. I ain't had a gun. I didn't mm -hmm. get shot. You know, I was chilling, doing something else at the time. So yeah. um, all yeah. I know is whenever it comes out, it's gonna be major, a major L on whoever mm -hmm. <laughs> taking that. That, that is not looking good for it, you know. So if it's on me, what happens with all the brand deals and things like that? If they find out her story wasn't exactly how she tried to make it seem, what happens to Tori? Um, if people had that little faith back in him, what happens when that totally goes away? So it's gonna mm -hmm. be it's gonna be tough for uh, for either one of them. What about you, Joe? How you feel about it? Um, I mean, to be honest with you, like. The foundation of the situation is that nobody mm -hmm. really knows what happened, right? Mm -hmm. um, there were four people that were there that can attest to what actually went went down and nobody else. So um, it's kind of hard for people to kind of pick a side, you know, without actually being there and knowing all the facts to it. At the same time... Uh, the situation is so egregious that it's like, how could you actually think Meg was lying about that? Like, who actually lies about being shot? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, it just doesn't make any sense to for for somebody of Meg's stature, you know, to be the superstar talent that she is, uh, for her to lie about that 
and then it all, you know, be some kind of situation where it can easily come out that you are lying about it. Like that's career suicide. So why would anybody of her stature just really like she really just coming into the game and becoming that star that she is? So it's like, why would you cut your career short and commit career suicide by telling a lie like that egregious? Right. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's like for me, it's like everybody was like, oh, well, you know, Meg lying because this is it's like, no, who really lies about that? Who would really kill their career in that way? You know what I'm saying? Lying about something that 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 bad. Um, on Tory's side, you know, I think more people were upset because, you know, Tory, Tory picked the wrong time to really, you know, come out with the information that he came out with. You know, if, at the end of the day, I understand as an artist, you know, you express yourself, you know, through your music, you know, so you might, you know, not want to come on IG Live and actually have to answer questions flat out because you can't, it's, it's, you know, it's really in a legal situation right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you can't really just come on IG Live and be like, yo, this is what happened, woo, 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 whatever the case may be. Or you might not want to do that because you don't want to, you don't want to be held, you know, your feet held to the fire for a situation. So mm -hmm. him coming out with music, expressing himself through that is the artist thing to do. I just think at the end of the day, everything that's going on, you know, with the situation, people so sensitive about it. It's like, I don't think people really wanted to hear an album about that. I think people were like, yo, hey, I didn't do that shit. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going on about my business. We'll take care of it legally. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think people really felt like music is what we really want to hear from you right now. No matter how jamming it, it, it possibly is. Mm -hmm. Nobody really gave a fuck to hear about it. So I think it was the distastefulness in that that people just really kind of like, got off the Tory bandwagon. You feel me? Now, the whole, you know, Breonna Taylor situation, like, I'm not going to necessarily get into that and be like, this motherfucker was just that, you know, disingenuous to the situation to where he didn't he didn't read the room and see, maybe this isn't a time for me, you know, me going, doing this to a black woman or whatever like that, or allegedly doing this to a black woman. This might not be the time for me to put this music out. I'm not going to get into that to the fallacies of that. But at the same time, um, you know, I just think he was, it was bad timing on him putting that out in that particular situation, you know? So I think that's what people were more upset about and why a lot of people didn't listen to it. Um, but we really still don't know. I mean, shit, at the end of the day, uh, people was like, yo, well, like if she got, if she, if he shot her for real, for real, like why would, why would she snitch on a nigga? It was like, yo, at the end of the day, I can believe her not snitching on him because, for one, when females love a nigga real hard, like, they not going to snitch on this nigga. They, they, it's gonna, they, females have been getting their ass whooped every day, all day, mm -hmm. and they ain't saying shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. ain't, ain't snitched on the nigga to nobody. Their mama, their daddy, their family, mm -hmm. nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's been true. more crazy stuff that's been going on. When females love hard, bro, they will put up with, an, an extreme amount of shit from 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 a cat, you know. That's just mm -hmm. how it is. Two, it's like at the end of the day, the situation that's going on now. Megan understood the ramifications of if I tell the police officers, especially in LA, if I tell the police officers that there is a gun that has been fired right here, I could lose my life. He could lose his. Everybody in this in this vehicle could lose their lives, knowing the situation. So like. People got to also take a step back and understand, like, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Now, she did get shot because mm -hmm. she might not have got shot in point blank, but she did get shot because the the hospital reports came out and said <laughs> oh, it had yeah. blue fragments in her, in her foot. That's, yeah. that's why she couldn't continue the lie of she stepped on glass because she was trying to protect him and everybody in that car or whomever, whomever mm -hmm. she's trying to protect. When she said that she, you know, Cut her, cut her, cut her foot on the glass. That's why she was bleeding. That was all to protect somebody. Don't know mm -hmm. if it was Tori. Don't know if it was Kelsey. But she's protecting somebody, right? Mm -hmm. He did get shot because they said, "Well, no, you didn't get cut with glass. Like these are bullet fragments in your foot. So, like, what's really going on?" So now she's like, "Okay, now that this stuff is going out, now that she says that Tori's camp is trying to basically make her look like the villain, now I gotta fire this nigga up. Now I gotta say, hey, you shot me.'" Now, is it a possibility that she could be just completely wasted 
and mm-hmm. she really don't know what happened, mm-hmm. definitely. You know what I'm saying? She was shot. Yeah. She don't she might not know who did it, but she yeah. was shot. Yeah. So now it's kind of like a matter of like, yo, we need to see all the facts now. You know, not necessarily we, because to be honest with you, it's like, look, it ain't really got shit to do with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it comes out to where neither one of them actually have that ends their career and has to go to jail and mm-hmm. has to serve real time for this shit. But, you know, it's just an unfortunate situation uh, that could have gone extremely bad. Yeah. Yeah. Well I mean, said. Pretty much. <laughs> well said. <laughs> nah, yeah. I mean, it's it's just a tough situation, like I was saying before. Um, with both individuals denying or you know, one denying, one um saying that he did do it. It's just it's too much to have to try to dig into, you know what I'm saying, to not really have been there and to not really know what's going on. Um I think that's why everybody went so hard in the beginning mm-hmm. you know, Tory, because all it just made sense that he did it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And it just, people were really like, we was even like, man, that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was like, damn. A female like that, like, if he did that shit, he old ass nigga, he weak. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, but at the end of the day, he did his part releasing it to me, honestly, smart. Like, he do music and he's independent. So he's not really under the the realm of a lot of other people. Like he was able to kind of put out his side and tiptoe around. He was able to be artistic about it without giving too much information that probably would be held against him in court. So um, I just pray that everybody finds peace in the situation. Because mm-hmm. again, um, for people who are, you know, battling each other, like for people that's like us, Fighting mm-hmm. each other to figure out whose side on who. I don't think it personally makes sense um, for us to be arguing with each other, like people doing on social media. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, he did it. Uh, I can't believe you, such as such. And like, you know, I just don't think that makes sense right mm-hmm. now because none of yeah. us are there. So I can't, I can't argue for some shit. If a uh, motherfucker, if Ross shoot me with a gun and I see his ass shoot me. That's an argument, <laughs> and that's an argument that y'all gotta understand. If I say, Joe, this motherfucker shot me, <laughs> now nah, me and you cannot be friends if you like, I don't know, Warren. Nigga Rose be dancing, his arm get a little squiggly. Like, if you do that shit, and I'm telling you he shot me, then I'm be like, All right, Joe, I can't fuck with you, bro, because you act yeah. like you don't believe in it, you know what I'm saying? But for us to not, not have been there, and mm-hmm. people who are invested don't have no relationships to these people getting mm-hmm. so invested to where we're arguing at each other, it that shit just don't make sense. Um, well, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Like, uh, another narrative that we got to we gotta eradicate, bro, is like, and, and, and not in every situation, but specifically in this one. Because Tory Lanez allegedly shot Meg the Stallion mm-hmm. does not mean that black men do not protect black women. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Like I stand up, day, but I'm end up moving the mic. Like, nah, stand up, Ross. <laughs> All right, man. All right, bro. What blondie at? You know <laughs> like straight up, bro. Like at the end of the day, my nigga. Do you agree, me. Malisha? She's on mute. So. Yeah, I, got I know, right? She was on mute. Thumbs up if you agree. Thumbs. Up. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. I agree. All of all of the all of the all of the people that's oh, watching, you know, you. I mean. I don't. I'm, I don't necessarily want you to give a thumbs up if you agree. It's just a, a fact to it, right? Because it's like, yo, don't put a one man's transgressions on a whole, you know, race of people, you know, or a whole, you know, group. Should I say, right? Because mm-hmm. it's like, yo, you tell me, like, just because you see, you know, fifty ignorant motherfuckers online talking about, you know, well. What did she do? I mean, you know, she big, you know, she might have, you know, she might did this. Like, just because you say you see 50 ignorant motherfuckers on your on your timeline. And I mean bro. ignorant niggas too. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. ignorant they, niggas, like they just, just being trolls. Does not mean that you know that speaks to everybody because I can show you a hundred black men mm-hmm. that protect their aunts, their mothers, their daughters, their sisters, like that don't play about the women in their family at all, or women, period. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like, yo, like just because you know you feel some type of way about what this nigga did, don't necessarily mean that it speaks for everybody. So the narrative 
that black men do not protect black women, we have to be careful in how we how we shape that. Because there Say are it. there are instances and situations where it's some it's some lost motherfuckers out here, some lost niggas out here that you know degrade and, and downgrade black women. And, and let me be the first to say that black women are the most disrespected, you know what I'm saying, group of, of, of individual on this earth, in this country, really. Reason mm -hmm. being is because they know how fire y'all are. They know they know how smart you are. They know if you guys get into Big a facts. position where you running shit, that it, 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 it ain't no coming back from that. You know what I'm saying? It ain't. So... At the end of the day, like you know, I think it it dives more so into the fact of them trying. It, it's a, it's it's black man versus the black woman, and we need to work together because yeah. it's, it's all of us. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, y'all take the bullets just like we do. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like so, it, it's all about us standing that's, together. That's, us that's true, man. Together. That's that's you know? very true, bro. Like that, that's very powerful because black women are beyond like just amazing and you know people do try to make it to where we against them and i see that in every situation mm -hmm. somebody will just come up with some random shit to make the men go against the women <clears throat> the black people specifically and mm -hmm. we already know black women is the shit but you you gonna have them ignorant motherfuckers that you know <laughs> got everything to say you know disrespectfully. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just some people just don't see positive in life. Period. So we it's you look stupid arguing with a nigga that that's just a straight pessimist. You know what I mean? Right. They see nothing positive in anything. So of course they find anything they can to talk down on, a, on anybody. So let alone mm -hmm. when a subject is dealing with a female who um supposedly was shot. You know. That there, there's a division there. You know, niggas couldn't wait. Nah, Tori didn't do it. Fuck all that. Fuck all you niggas is trying to put. I seen niggas trying to beef with niggas that was trying to defend her. Like, yo, and that shit crazy because like in the industry, niggas know Tori is a fucking high head. So mm -hmm. like, it's like you don't like you know that it's a lot of niggas that know him personally. They say that, but like a lot of niggas that was that was all on the bandwagon. It's like you don't know this nigga. <laughs> like you don't know this nigga personally at all so how do you mm -hmm. know if he did it or not like you mm -hmm. know nothing you don't know her personally so you don't mm -hmm. know what the fuck happened or not like at the end of the day everybody has to take a step back and it's again it's so egregious so it's very hard to believe that somebody would lie about being shot you know what I'm saying at all but everybody gotta take a step back let the facts come out as they do mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying when they come out then we can have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Until then, we love everybody get out. Everybody yeah. get out the fucking soapbox. <laughs> yeah, you know, Until then, it's just like he say, she say, like speculation. And any type of small new evidence come out, you well, let's piece it together. I mean, mm -hmm. what? Okay, Nancy Drew, like my God, <laughs> right? Facts, man. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm glad you uh, brought that up, Joe, because I'd seen it so much on my timeline. Oh, if you listen to his album, you don't give a damn a black, about black women. I'm like, shut up. Stop. <laughs> Jesus. Right. Tell you right now. Jesus. For, for now, the album was fired. Yeah, I don't give a damn. <laughs> for now, the album was fired. It's just one of those things, bro. For like, now. if I'm listening to something or whatnot, I'm not that type of super duper fan to get so engrossed into what someone's saying that I believe every single bar in line. Oh, this has to be truth. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just listening, listening to it to get a different perspective because at the end of the day, we all know there's two sides to a story. Is Megan a victim in this? Of course she is because she was the one that got shot. We just don't know exactly By who. <laughs> she said it was Tim. It was Tori. Tori said it it wasn't him and that's just what it is so if a person listened to it that whole narrative of oh, our, our black men don't give a damn about us if you listen into it then you support the you know abuse of black women you're part of the problem I'm like bro that's annoying that is so dumb to me like yo don't try to put one correlation to another you don't have to listen to it but to like come at somebody like they don't love their you know them their mother that grew, you know, that raised them or love their wife or children that happen to be black because they 
listen to something. It's like, come on, bro. There's other fights. Question. Other fights you could be having, bro. Not to cut you off. Do you think ninety percent of those women stay single? And never oh no, mega single. Or they turn <laughs> lesbian. One of the two. <laughs> <laughs> they may start shaving their hair and shit, but you know. Whatever. <laughs> you know, I would have to say, a lot of those, a lot of girls who I said like, oh, unprotected the women are the most unprotected are black women. It really started from Megan, number one. Number two, um, most of the people who I saw defending Megan and saying stuff like that were in relationships. Like now, mm-hmm. like I think everybody was defending her at first, but I'm talking about like them, them women that's like so pro woman, black woman, like it's like it's you can't actually kind of toxic. Wrong. Yeah. I feel like those women who do that, like they men just be like, oh my God, and just stay out of what man? Like, what are you talking that, about? That's what I'm trying to figure out. That's a good one. It's, Go ahead, man. It's, man. What kind of man? Or what kind yeah. of guy? I mean, I would love to interview a battered man who, I mean, okay, maybe not a battered. Battered, battered and Why? bruised Why? emotionally. Because she feels strongly about what she believes in. He got to be battered. Yeah, but this, because if, there's if, nothing if wrong a with person can strong. say all, like black men don't, I, I, I hate no. Generalize no. statements like that. Like you can say, some people don't like yeah. to protect, or there's some people who are immature that don't like to like. But when you label everybody, fuck you. That's my every story. single time <laughs> for every single situation. Fuck. That's just like the J Cole situation that happened oh. with him and him and No Name. Oh my god! I've seen oh. a different type of Twitter where women were just, and we hadn't even heard the track yet because you know we was waiting to react to it. But the way like some of the black women that was retweeting each other and stuff was talking, I was like, "Damn, J Cole must have oh, said some disrespectful him. shit." He, he, oh yeah, and then they, they, jumped on, they jumped on his ass. So when we heard it, I was like, like not even trying to be biased just because I'm a Cole fan, but I'm listening. I'm like, I wouldn't even felt disrespected at all. I mean, his tone is one thing, you know what I'm saying? And how he was saying it, it was it was almost like an educational type moment to where like, hey, if you want to tell somebody about, you know, certain things, why don't you talk to them? Most people didn't come from the same background. It was just literally that. And when I heard it, I was like, this what we canceling him over? And people were serious. Most, yeah, because most women were upset at, the, at him basically saying that she needed to watch her tone. But so they looked at it as if like, oh well, that's just a black man trying to silence a black woman. And that's but, the woman I'm talking about. Like I'm yeah. gonna interview her husband. Yeah, like watch they weren't tone. they weren't thinking of it in a sense like what Cole is saying, watch your tone. He's basically saying, Yo, the tone that I got from your tweet or what you said, it's almost as if you're basically like you're more so in a like in a situation where you could teach because these people don't necessarily come from where you come from uh, uh, ideology wise. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yo, at the end of the day, you have the platform, you have the ability to teach, but instead like you coming at niggas as if like they already know or supposed to know, right. you know what I'm saying? So he basically like, just bring your tone down and just basically do this. But you know, I, I wouldn't have looked at it like that, but you know, they looked at it and they basically thought that this nigga like should be canceled for that. I, I just, you know, with people like that, you just got to be like, all, all right, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Because like at the end of the day, they gon' they gon' they gon' forget. J Cole say some uh, he, if he come out with a record empowering women, they gonna be the same ones. They gonna be like, oh, I'm, I've always been a J Cole fan. You know, he he been live. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, it's just. People like that, I'd just be like, okay, cool. Like, you I think know sometimes I mean? in lyrics and in the way that a person articulates themselves through music, it can be misconstrued as disrespectful depending on the audiences being played to. Um, in this age right now, like in the time, to- oh, oh, I thought everybody froze from it. In this time right now, it's like a, it's trending. I hate this. I hate to use trending, but that's what it is. Like, Right now, it's trending to point out um, men who are um, lowering the the ranks of women because this whole feminism movement. Oh, I don't need this, or I'm gonna make my own stage. Like hey, you, you said, something I mean? powerful right there. Mm-hmm. It's, it, that's, it that's is powerful. It's, it's the truth. 
Hey, Hold I want on. some Chick Fil A too, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh Slide my bad, them. bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I got the the lemonade. You know what I'm saying on deck. Slide them nuggets over here, cuz. Some nice ice. <laughs> I got the uh, I got the uh, salad the cob. So, <laughs> we in the we in the we in the age right now. Um, not not only is the age of in, not intelligence, the age of um information. It's the age of ignorance too. Everybody wants to feel inclusive. They want to feel included. So what's the best way to feel included? Jump on the bandwagon. Jump on the, the latest trend. Be passionate about, even if it's the most ignorant thing you've ever heard, be passionate about it because when you're passionate about something and you have a fan base or you have a big uh, um, following, it puts you as, oh, you're prolific. Oh, you're a philosopher. Oh, you, that's the greatest thing anybody has ever said since sliced bread. And it's like, nigga, what? It's stupid. Like, you know what I mean? But that's how dangerous the internet can be. It, the internet can be two things. It's, it's, it's amazing and it's helpful for people who um, use it correctly, but it's also devastating the black culture in whole, in totality. Because people are sheeple and they follow what is the, the, the latest thing the latest thing. So if no name or whatever say, you know, her, or her fan base, you know, like, oh, I, I didn't like blah, 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 blah. Or beforehand, before J. Cole made the song or whatever, she said something. Everybody's like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. What she said made sense. Especially the ones that are like feminist, whatever, feminist, but I still have sex with men. I don't know. I don't know. You say you don't need men, but you... Whatever, you know what, what are I mean? they, uh, hey, man, sapio sexual? <laughs> nah, sapio sexual are just people who are attracted to intelligence. That has nothing to do with femininity. They be, they be using that too, though, and they look like Nah, because a man can be a sapio sexual. That, that has nothing to do with um, feminine. Femininity. But anyways, like I said, it's <laughs> all a, it's all a trending thing. Everything revolves around what's trending, and right now, what's trending is let's point out the nigga who is talking about the black woman because we all know, and I'm not saying this, the black woman is the most disrespected, the black woman is the most unprotected. I don't know about them, but my brothers always got my bag, and they every bit of black. All right, yeah. my yeah, uncle got my bag, and they every bit of black. <clears throat> that's the point we're trying to prove. Military men who I served in the military with, um, my Marine brothers, black and white, got my back. I ain't got to say nothing. Somebody, somebody come at me wrong on an Instagram post or a Facebook post. They, um, um, you all right? You know what I mean? So I feel pretty damn protected. All right. I don't know. I can't speak for everybody. I haven't experienced what everybody has experienced. But because I am a black woman, I can say <clears throat> That right. narrative that they paint of black men is not totally true. Mm -hmm. It is true in some cases, yeah. but not every case. Women should not be um, posting this stuff. Black men, if you got one black man in your life who have protected you, you cannot say that. Mm -hmm. You can't post that because it's not true. You well, know what no, I mean? That's, that's super true. You can't you say know. it in a general sense. You forgot to mention friends you probably went to school with too, but uh, you know we, we'll just slide past that. We, it's yeah. probably next. You gonna say that for later, right? <laughs> but no, <nah>, um, <laughs> you know what? Um, I personally feel like um that that is a tr that's the thing now. That's why I said that was powerful because that is the thing now. But also, I feel like some women see how I use that. Some women mm -hmm. aid in this feeling too because some women don't I like the way you use words some it's great because yeah. i mean it's so it's, easy it's, it's <laughs> women i can't say women don't like eggs yeah. what nigga I love me some eggs <laughs> but now um some women don't put a standard on themselves some women allow men to come at them with little to nothing and have little to nothing and they accept that and a lot of niggas grow up seeing those standards being so low and they come at women as they are received or what they're showcasing i mean if in every picture i'm seeing you on because now that's the thing now now we can't deny that your social status is a status now mm -hmm. um if i see you 
with your ass in the front of every picture, you know, oh, look at this, uh, look at my new dog, and your ass is showing, and the dog is right. It's what like, fuck about that, everything. <laughs> Like, I mean, what, what you're advertising to a man is like, damn, let me see what she's like. I see what she's working with. No, no, no. Let me try to no shoot at her. She has the right to. No, I mean, I'm just saying. All I'm saying is if I got a bunch Look of my heart. If I got a bunch of McDonald's fries and a McDonald's shirt on every day and you tell me, hey, bro, can I get a discount? Nigga, I don't work in no damn McDonald's. The fuck wrong with you? Nigga, what's wrong with niggas? You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't get mad at people for coming at me. No, one, no, 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 bro. <laughs> you got to. You, as a man, you're supposed to, to have to self level. control. What are you talking about? What are level. you talking about? I can't. I can't post this. What are you saying? Everybody, everybody's not going. I don't. I don't need you to be control. like that. <laughs> black men, black men, they don't care. No, that's, that's true. Care. But I mean, they got to think. Everybody <laughs> doesn't have that mature level. Like I could imagine us with social media now. Like when we was like 18. Like I mean, you would see how huge of a gap. I mean, it's, it doesn't seem long at all. I mean, but it's like we've jumped from how we acted mm -hmm. coming out of high school to now. Like, even though we still got a lot of our ways in us, we literally changed a lot about ourselves. And mm -hmm. imagine if that was on social media. You know what I'm saying? You've seen how niggas treated some women. I mean, everybody got to grow in some type of way. And sometimes people don't have the background of somebody showing them, hey, man, this is how you treat a woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, we we never kind of get to that stage to where we tap in. Damn, what this nigga, what's this nigga growing up? Like, how was his environment growing up? Because maybe he used to shit like this. Maybe he got an uncle that always brought in women every day that let him do what the hell he wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Maybe mm -hmm. he has a stepfather that slapped up his mom and he grew up thinking that was the way. I mean, it's not saying that this shit is okay, but sometimes we need to check on niggas' mental health. Like, where, where people at? Because we don't know why niggas do certain things. Some people are programmed to do shit a certain way and we just quick to throw him in jail <clears throat> quick to judge him and the niggas nigga, like being a black man i know how ignorant i can be especially if people keep on riding me on the situation you like, all right fuck it then nigga, i'm just this way you know what i'm saying and then you end up doing some shit that's gonna cost you your whole life because we don't really try to figure out like man where's the problem at let's mm -hmm. change this shit as a community and let's move forward but we so quick to judge and try to make it to where oh no nah, this nigga this this nigga is that he's a this and it's like you know, we need to learn how to, you know, kind of welcome people in. Be like, hey, man, bro, what's up? Like, you good? Like, you know, tell me about your past. Like, what was life like growing up? You never know how something may have impacted somebody. I mean, just like it's not on the same caliber, <clears throat> but just like somebody being sexually molested or whatever as a kid, a lot of dudes have had that same problem. A lot of dude has seen, dudes have seen trauma. I mean, when you're a kid and you're seeing dead bodies, I don't personally feel like that shit is normal. You know what I'm saying? For a nigga to see some shit like that as a kid and you growing up in that to the point where it's like, you just like, oh, okay, that's, that's just a dead body. You know what I'm saying? Like, And then people wonder why you retaliate as an adult now to certain things. We, we got to kind of, we need to learn how to just take it back for a second and just see where people, where they mind at. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Powerful words from Doug the G. I mean, you know, I just have to you know, <laughs> put a something out there. You know? But all right, we we kind of spent enough on this topic. I, I do like everybody's. There's a lot of topics. Um, mm -hmm. just we kind of segue from the Tory to you know how things were perceived on Twitter. But let's get into uh, something else that we planned on talking about: you the old presidential debate that happened. I went, was it? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Well, that's, that's yeah, that was uh that was uh interesting, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not gonna lie. Will to you, you just shut up, man? <laughs> Jeez, Ross. Oh my god. Why you I'm you stupid. on mute? You on mute, Oh my god, yeah, Joe, you on mute, bro. Oh yeah, I say, man, tell that nigga Biden, man, tell that nigga what it is. <laughs> well, what's your thoughts and opinion on that whole oh. Just that whole situation. I don't even. I don't. I can't even call it a, a, a debate. It's just. It, it was just niggas out there arguing. You know <laughs> what? Over I, each other. I seen Trump not want to denounce his people. Oh, <laughs> that's what I saw. No, yeah, he told them niggas to stand yeah, by. By like, I was like, huh? 
Oh, oh really? And it's then he's gonna say then he told him to get ready to <laughs> patrol the polls. He really said that. He really said that on national TV. But I don't know who I want to vote for. I don't know yeah. who to vote for. It's so funny <laughs> because <laughs> niggas on um like Fox and shit like that, they be debating when they talking about like the recaps and shit. They find Everybody. every fucking excuse in the book for this nigga. And I just be sitting there like these motherfuckers. <laughs> I be sitting there just watching because I'm peeping a lot of shit now. I'm just like, bro, these niggas really don't give a fuck. And they really be on live TV telling me that some shit that just happened didn't happen like I saw it. I can well, he didn't really the, say that. You can slap the shit out of somebody <laughs> in public, and they're gonna be like, "Bro, his face ran against his hands." What are you talking about? The wind was blowing, and it'll give you, it'll, it'll hit you with so many different meniscal facts that you'll be like, "Wait, what the? This, this nigga probably didn't slap him." You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> <You're sorry. laughs> what did I see? <laughs> my eyes are deceiving me now. Yeah. Even for sad, people that was bro. like, oh, it was, a, it was a bad debate for both of them. Like, I I feel like it could have been better, but I feel like Trump was doing a lot of fucking Boy. That nigga was in that hoe shucking and jiving them questions. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite color? Well, I like all colors we, that come we, in the crayon we, box. I mean, we, colors we, come in the crayon box, but... Uh, why do we have to choose a specific color in a crayon box? You know, it's crayon. It's crayon. That nigga was weaving everything, bro. You know, so fact, how much do you pay in taxes? Oh, how much oh, you pay in taxes? Oh, well, he said millions. He did say millions. And millions. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you know what? I just heard um, New York, I believe they said that they can uh, do a subpoena or whatever to. Oh, they wait. They wait. They on these uh, documents. So, oh, for yeah. real? Yeah, they on his ass. Yeah. New York you know, is definitely on his ass. It's it's about time. And then also the thing where he um and we just don't know about that. He needs to go to prison. He's um canceling the whole uh meeting about the stimulus package. So he's um trying to he's I I when I was looking at it, I was like, bro, this nigga sleep. So what it is is he's not gonna. Um, go along with it or go move further with it until after the election. election. And he says after if he gets voted, then he's going to drop a major stimulus uh, deal uh, plan. And I'm like, bro, this nigga here. <laughs> bro. But what's, what's crazy is as, as messed up to us as it may seem, the people who are like places where I come from, you know, like it sounds good. Where's it that? sounds good, like promising. You know where we're from. So, mm. yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. You used to play basketball in an empty um, shopping cart. <laughs> nah, bro. Oh, nah, Come bro. on, shopping cart. Wow, what, what are we doing here? <laughs> Upside nah. down. See, this is what I be talking about. Black women so, don't. So, have anyways. Black women. <laughs> <laughs> Problem. So, anyways, I think I mean you know to them it sounds good, and they probably didn't even watch the debate, but they know that. Of course, they know they the do. money that's gonna come, and they know what niggas. they have to do to get the money. So, <laughs> damn dog, it ain't even just it ain't even just black people. We talking about it trailer ain't parks, just black. You know, it ain't, yeah. the, <laughs> trailer parks in Berlin. They white niggas too. They, <laughs> that's what they are. I got a question, bro. And, Jesus, um, dog. I asked, I asked Joe this question. So this kind of go coincides with the whole presidential thing, but voting. What what do you guys think we should do as a community, um, black, brown, you know, everyone to be educated on who's what and how this affects you? Mm. What what type of thing? Because I question. feel like we just throw. Voting at people, and I'm personally tired of that because a lot of people don't. I, I'm per, I'm gonna be honest. I don't be knowing half the people sometimes when I'm voting. When I voted for Obama, I like, oh, I know Obama. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I'd be going off who got who names the best. I'll be doing any, many, mighty mo. So you know, Ross, you must have been there. <laughs> I'm, I'm being a hundred percent honest. That's, He's fine right now. That was my first time voting. George <laughs> McKinnon. I don't know voting, if I want to vote for him. For previous voting, it used to be just a straight ballot. Yeah, but... It used to be to where you could vote 
for the Democratic and everybody else that lies up under there, that's who mm-hmm. you vote for. And voila, one one. vote the simple. Now, if there is no straight ticket voting. And for people who are listening, please, voting is going to be so strenuous this time around, especially mm-hmm. for us, the people who had just started voting within the last 10 years, because what we're so used to is it being just done. All right. Now you got to go through every single um, every single box mm-hmm. you, in order. And then you have to get all the way to the bottom to get to your city officials, your your state officials, your city. They're making it like and I, my my reasoning for believing that they did this was because of fatigue. Eventually, you're going to get tired of, uh, you know what, uh, uh, whatever. I just, whatever. And that's what you're going to do. After the, after the president, whatever. no, for after the president, Supreme, and all of that other stuff, you know, like, you, all right, that's cool. I know what this person, I, I see you the don't commercial. Know these niggas. You don't know them, and you're just going to pick. Right. Just gonna gonna win. So, so that's, that's the question. Like, it's a fatigue thing, and what I think they did it like mm-hmm. what, what could we put in play? Um, you know, I just kind of want to give a second to brainstorm. What do y'all think we could do to make it to where niggas will want to gather this information in one circuit? I don't know, maybe like an app or something to where you know you can kind of get research on every individual, what they've done in their past, how this affects you specifically um so that way you'll have the knowledge and the confidence to go to the polls and be like you know i feel strong about this and using my voice versus <laughs> niggas that never gave a damn since middle school don't even know who christopher <laughs> columbus is and th- we pushing these niggas to go vote to be honest um in a in a in an ideal world you know, the perfect world. Yeah, that would be a great idea to have. That would be a great thing to do to put, basically spoon feed these niggas um, the 411 on voting. Basically to say, hey, look, this person is uh, is wants to do this. This person is running for this, so they, and they want to do this. This person is, this, if this person gets this in, this is going to affect this with you. Like, in a perfect world, yeah, that's cool. But at the same time, uh, I've understood at this point in time that it doesn't matter how much you spoon feed niggas, bro. If niggas do not want to, you know, sad. under like know that shit for themselves, bro, it so doesn't true. matter. Yeah. So at the end of the day, like the phone that I'm holding in my hand, the phone that y'all probably using to record this podcast is all of the information that they need. Because you have everything at your fingertips, bro. Like, like it's funny how people be saying, like, I see this shit all the time on my timeline. Like, Biden, like he, like I, like it still don't know what what policies he got. He don't talk about this. Like, yo, motherfucker, like all that shit been on his website for the past like year almost. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, all of the policies, everything that he talks about that he wants to do, that he, you know, whatever the fuck it is, it's been on his website. All you have to do, literally, is go to his website, and you can read what the fuck he wants to do. But at the same time, niggas is so lazy that they don't do the shit. Exactly. So, So what do we do? Come on, yeah, I'm trying to make a million dollar The thing is, the thing is, you cannot, (laughs) there's not enough that you can do to help people that don't want to be It'll never be enough, but exactly. I, would, I, would, so, I do personally wish it was a way to streamline the information so that way streamline it's, it's already streaming. It's, it's already streaming. I'm just playing devil's advocate here. I'm just saying. I but mean, but if you really get, can't play devil's advocate really when the can, internet when you has to, been, when you get to nigga number 36, large. when you get to nigga number 36, and you're like, Who is Gerald Ford? <laughs> <laughs> I like four trucks. You know what I'm saying? Let's be honest, bro. Like Keep telling you, Peter McKinnon. Yeah, you know what's you know what's crazy, though? Peter McKinnon Some at the bottom. Ain't gonna even know. <laughs> they ain't gonna even catch that. <laughs> Who is Gerald Ford? <laughs> like uh, a president? Like you know, it's like some people ain't gonna even catch that shit. But <laughs> bro, <laughs> Kennedy. What? Oh yeah, I'm voting Kennedy. Like, I, mean, <laughs> I had this conversation. I had this conversation with uh with a couple of my homeboys, man. It was just like. They was trying to figure out, okay, what is the importance of voting? You know what I'm saying? Like, 
why should why should we vote? You know, and some people, some was like, yo, feel like, you know, because of the electoral college and because we have this situation going on with that, that, you know, basically. Which don't make sense to me. The, the president could have the popular vote. Well, you know, you, you could basically win the presidency without having the popular vote, which is the mm -hmm. same thing that happened in, in four years ago with Hillary, correct? So basically like, yo, well, like, I feel like if the popular vote, which is, you know, the people are basically choosing one person and then another person gets in because they won the electoral college, then it's like my vote doesn't doesn't count. So therefore, like we need an uprising. We need to dismantle everything. And that's where we need to go. So my mm -hmm. my my rebuttal to that was I was like, OK, so listen, voting is for, well, first and foremost. Before I even get into that, voting is how we handle shit in this in, in the United States. Point blank, period. Nothing gets done without it being voted on. So at the end of the day, either you voting or you getting lost. That's mm -hmm. just how this shit goes. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna change ever, mm -hmm. whether you vote or not. It's not that. That's how we get shit done. You know what I'm saying? So how we hey some shit done? How we how we govern? Hey, let's let's let's, we, let's 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 agree real quick. I agree with what you're saying. Okay. Okay. Right, Joe. I gotta play devil's advocate. Okay, for some people. Devil. Devil's for, advocate. For people that I know for people that have the same questions to me. Um, okay. the president doesn't run the country. No, he well. Okay. Yes, he does. He does. He does. Mm -hmm. he, he runs. And here's here's what I'm saying. Who, who really runs the America? The president actually actually has a. Come on, lot I'm trying to I'm trying to get us to the next level. Come on, Ross. Okay. If, if you're talking about conspiracy theories, then <laughs> oh. we, ain't, we ain't talking about no Rothschild, Rockefeller. We talking about Trump, Pence, Kamala, and who that other nigga? Who Kamala. 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 What the fuck was that? Wow, that's, that's a rule. What if somebody call you Malaysia? <laughs> they did, but I never, I never announced my name as that, so wouldn't matter. Hey, bro, you'd be surprised. Yo, the way that door swung open, I ain't see him. Yeah. I said, all right, all right, I'm, I'm about, about to get the, off this one right I'm here. About to log out. I thought yeah. I got too. I thought I was getting too deep. <clears throat> no, no, no. It's it's gonna be some niggas that's gonna definitely have some conspiracy theories going on, you know. But at the same time, you know, <clears throat> like. At the end of the day, you can believe in whatever conspiracy you want to, but the reality of it is, is that decisions are being made around you about you. So it's like you know, either you gonna hop in the, in the conversation and actually have your two cents to be put in by voting, or you just gonna let niggas continue to make decisions for you. You know what I'm saying? And a prime example of that and how that affects you is, um, so you know, I, I think it was back in the second term or whatever, Obama's second term, uh, he wanted to appoint Mary Garland for Supreme Court Justice. Mitch McConnell basically came out and said, well, we're not going to, we're going to, we want to leave it up to the people. We want to leave it up to the people to basically fill that seat um, uh, uh, after the, after the 2016 election, I, 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 if I believe. So it was like, we're not going to, Obama, we're not going to allow you as Congress to uh, the Congress is not going to allow you to um, basically make that decision of that who you want to appoint for Supreme <clears throat> Court justice because we want to let the people decide. Fast I'm forward to 2020, Trump do it. Um, uh, 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 um, Ginsburg, you know, just just passed on. God rest her soul. Um, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So basically, um, McConnell didn't use didn't keep that same energy for Trump that he did with Obama. He basically was like, "Yo." Well, even though it's election coming, we don't want the people to decide. Trump, you go ahead and you put in who you want to. Therefore, you know, you got to understand that there are things such as Roe versus Wade, um, uh, civil rights, voting, the voting rights Brown Act, versus Board of, of Education. Things, Board of Education. A lot of these things can be reversed. How this, how this affects you as a woman. If you are pro-choice, um... Now, Roe versus Wade can be reversed to the point to where now you have a bunch of white men that are telling you that you you can't do X, Y, Z with your mm -hmm. body, right? So you could be raped uh, tomorrow, and if you get pregnant and you decide that you're too young, you can't you can't take care of the child, you can't do this and then the third. Now they're 
they're telling you, hey, you can't have an abortion because we reverse Roe versus Wade. Fuck what you and talking RBG about. RBG helped you know keep saying? that down pat. RBG, and I loved her to death because she, I'm going to let you get back, Joe, but I have to say this. For, right. for women's right. rights, right. RBG has been phenomenal. She paved, she trailblazed the way for women's rights um, 2.0, shall I say. You know, right. um, things right. that I've experienced in the military, being a woman in the military, I would have never been able to experience had it not been for her serving on the Supreme Court Justice. Us getting paid right. the same amount that men get paid wouldn't have, wouldn't have been able to happen. Our uniforms that we wear, we have to wear certain uniforms and it to be considered feminine. We couldn't serve in certain capacities because of um, us being women. RBG laid the law down and was like, listen, this whoop, 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 this is going to happen and blah. There we go. You know, we got exactly. women who are, you know, trailblazers in the military right now. And it's crazy how we're still having as diverse as the world is first, the first woman to do this, the first woman. Like, how is that possible in the world of so much equality and possibilities? Well, RBG. Like, bless your soul, bless your heart, and all your parts. Thank you for everything that you've done for women. Mars. And, and just, see, that's this the thing, is a phenomenal though, sis, woman in, in general. But go ahead, no, that, that's facts. No, that's, that's the thing, though. That's the thing, though, sis, because it's like, you know, for people that say that the president has no control and they're just a figurehead, that's completely a fucking lie. Like, yes. that particular situation right there just goes to show you the people that you have in power can make decisions on your life that you have no control over if you don't vote mm -hmm. these people out. Yeah. Especially somebody who has the backing of the Senate <clears throat> and the House. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Which, at the time, President Obama did not because we didn't mm -hmm. do our job in 2010 and make sure that the Democrats had control over the House and the Senate. Now, at the end of the day, you know, People, we don't vote in midterm elections like we should. Which that's, is why that's, that's that. That's that other piece of education, though, because a right. lot of people don't really are not aware of that and the details that come with that. And um, right. I mean, I don't know, man. It, it, it to me, it really it's a lot <clears throat> that goes with that. You know, I feel like um, some school districts, especially like the one I went to. They wasn't so educational on that a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't have certain teachers that was, you know, really for black people knowing their shit. Now, I'm not going to deny and say there ain't no black teachers out there that's not trying to get their people to be ahead of the totem pole. But there are a lot that really didn't give a damn. Um, and all that did was cause niggas to just be niggas, skip class. <laughs> Up around sure. your your mind is on a million different things. So around that time, <clears throat> I mean, it's just the understanding, that, and then now you get into the real world, real shit going on. You really ain't got time to like backtrack. I mean, that's kind of why I wasn't trying to be funny, but that's kind of why I was saying I wish we had a way to make this shit to where people really didn't have more excuses than what they have now. I mean, a lot of people don't even know certain um, things in the in Houston. You know what I'm saying? That we voting for. Like things that help fix roads and shit. Like different yep. plans. Uh, <laughs> different plans in the city. The niggas look at him like, oh shit, what is this? Do you agree to this? Should Metro do this? Yeah, that's cool. I like Metro. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. it's, it's just so much <laughs> information that I feel like it's just there. But it's like the, the, the lesson and the learning, the knowledge behind doors really isn't as vast and, you know, big as we would want it to. You know, I'll tell you some real shit, bro. How it directly affects affects your hood right now. Because because we in in the H, um, people that are in that area that vote on that particular in that particular area, because you don't vote for your neighborhoods, protect your neighborhoods, make sure when grandmama die, you make sure you keep the property up. So therefore, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. You, you pay the, the, the property taxes. doesn't get pay the taxes to where the property don't get bought. Because we didn't do that is why you have situations where third ward is being gentrified. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Most of them white folks moving from moving back from Katy, moving back into, you know, into third ward because it's closer to downtown, closer to their work areas. So they ain't got to drive that far. And now the hoods that are so historic and mean so much to you, now that shit finna be gone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and it's like, Yo, you gotta, uh, you gotta, 
you got to think about stuff like that again if you don't vote then you 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 relinquish your right to to have something to say you know what i'm saying so therefore like you can't even complain about shit no more. Like, like you have nothing to say, my nigga, because it's like it's just it's, it's it's just that bad. I mean, and that's just on a local a local level, which is really more important. But I just show people mm -hmm. with that whole pro choice situation of how, on a federal level, it can also affect you. You know, from putting certain people in office, having the certain powers that they do, this can affect you, your body. How you move moving forward. You know what I mean? Listen, people are out here <laughs> dying, bro, trying to figure out how they're gonna get their next meal and lost work. Fucking uh 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 um uh, what's that shit? Um a uh, government assistance, all that shit then then fucking dry it up, you know, all that can, now it's like this motherfucker like yo. If you vote me in, I'll give you a, a nice big stimulus now, you know. But, but he like he don't give a fuck. We got a month before, you know, a uh, a uh, uh, um a uh, 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 and a president is elected, right? And he and that that could be nigga, you could be dead in a month because you know what I'm saying? Like you 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 asked out homeless in a month. He don't give a fuck about none of that shit. All mm -hmm. he care about is winning. And at the same time, it's like yo, the racist shit. I don't give a fuck. Like at the end of the day, Trump to me, Trump is a racist. I don't give a fuck about him condemning white supremacy because, I mean, why would you ask a white supremacist to condemn white supremacy? They're just not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, it's like, I don't give a fuck about him condemning white supremacy at all. That matters not to me. At the end of the day, all I care about is the other shit that he's done in this in, in while he's been president. He's bullshitted so much on this COVID situation. The tapes are already out that he knew about this, this virus well before it really hit the masses, he knew how he knew how strong it was. He knew how dangerous it was, and because he didn't want the country or the Dow to be affected by it, he didn't say anything. He downplayed it, which he's still downplaying it to this day. He doesn't understand that like hundreds of people, millions of people, or a million people have already been he affected died. by the virus, and thousands of people have been have been died from it. So at the end of the day, it's like, yo, dog, like. You know, if anybody like this whole shit about him having COVID and all this shit, whether he had it or not, it doesn't fucking matter to me because he's never taken it seriously. It hasn't fully hit home to him because he hasn't had a loved one that mm -hmm. he had to look on a fucking iPad or a telephone because they can't come to the hospital to basically mm -hmm. say their goodbyes to their loved ones, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's like <laughs> when you got to really think about shit like that, like at the end of the day, whether people care about it or not, that office has to be held with a certain type of morality, a certain type of esteem. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, this motherfucker has none. So it's like, yo, Biden has his flaws. True enough. We understand that. We get it. But that's why you vote his ass in and you stay on his motherfucking neck about the shit that he said that he wants to do and is going to do when he gets in office. No, it's nothing, nothing more, nothing less to be done. You vote him in. You make sure you hold his feet to the fire. Does what he <clears> says he's gonna do. But you gotta get this other, this orange ass whole ass nigga out. <laughs> you gotta get this nigga out, bro. You gotta get him out because he's already shown you. When motherfuckers show you who they are, believe him. Facts. And he's Facts. so comfortable with the fact that he had, he feels like he has a country behind him, and in a way he does. Like you know, I know a lot of people who, yeah, I know a lot of people who really support him, but are hiding as Democrats. Mm -hmm. You know, like they do that. It's politics, and now that I'm working in politics, I'm floored, like completely floored. <laughs> I'm just Lord. like, <laughs> bro. I'm telling you, I'll just be like, what? I am floored. But you know, to be honest, like, we, for real. we use politics to divide these. For divide it's completely thing. unbelievable how much stuff goes undetected, goes up under the 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 city, the, the city folks, even the people who have money don't really know what's going on <laughs> like you know they, mm. they used to have town hall meetings before coronavirus happened now what they have they have zoom meetings but the information is not even really out there so at these town hall meetings where you will have hundreds of people gathering normally you got like seven people you mean to tell me seven people out of the, the out of the four point something million people in houston that we have are on this call right now, and this is for the general public. 
It's it's my internet, man. My internet. Get out of here! I mean, you got to be kidding me. So, and it's just crazy. And in, they, in these meetings, they discuss so much. I mean, so much information. Well, in, in precinct one, we're going to start building a park. Why? Precinct, precinct one needs the new roads. <laughs> precinct one needs um, those, uh, what you call those? Those electric cables that be all like damn near mm-hmm. to the ground. Like, mm-hmm. You need to have them. You need to tighten them things up. Like, like kids I, always get electrocuted. I'll be on that whole like, where, where's precinct one again? <laughs> I'm saying like, you know, <laughs> like, oh, precinct off. two, we're gonna go and do. And I'm just like, what? Like, but it's crazy how much how much stuff is discussed in these meetings, and a lot of people are oblivious to it. I mean, the information is there. It's open. You know what I mean? But it's just, like I said, lack lack of knowledge, people being lazy, not really wanting to do the research. Um, when, a, when a bill or a law is passed, they, oh, how did that happen? You know? <laughs> well, wh- well, who did you vote for? <laughs> what did he say vote? he was going to do? <laughs> exactly. What, what did, did what you if, say he was going to do? What if we oh, have email our me. platforms like we're doing now to, do, to push that information? Like, what if the shade rooms, the BT. What if what if all of them dropped like weekly, you know, stats on certain things that's going on federally? And then what if we had a page or something like that locally to kind of drop and pinpoint certain things that's affecting certain neighborhoods? We do. Area? It's called Harris County Votes dot org. <laughs> like it's been there for years. Yeah, that's a lot. Um I'm just saying. Like, no, no, no. I'm just saying. Dot org, no, no. Bro. I haven't used. I don't dot talk. Org I don't talk. Crazy. <laughs> like, I'm. I'm just saying for people mm-hmm. with a platform. I mean, that's why I don't mind putting stuff like this on our platform. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Because I have a platform. What it is is I don't want to be an excuse. I want to make. I want to kind of minimize the excuses. So if I know I want information about something, I don't mind putting that information out there. I don't mind right. talking about shit like this and putting it on our platform. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, Everybody with a platform that looked like me, I feel like should do the same thing. That's just like when George Floyd passed away, Breonna Taylor. We let these niggas know, hey, black fucking lives matter. And we ain't saying it just because Apple is jamming black shit for a day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like we if we use our platform since we the popular motherfuckers, we use our platform to keep promotion, promoting this shit and pushing this shit. Nigga, eventually we going to get some niggas heads. I mean, because you got to think, the kids are growing up in this shit. We didn't have to grow up with Instagram. They growing up with this shit. So we can't put ourselves in their shoes to know what the fuck is and is not going to affect us because we didn't have to grow up on Instagram 24 fucking 7 trying to make sure you socially that nigga. You know what I'm saying? We kind of just tapped into this shit when we was older. You know what I'm saying? So you never know about, you never know how putting certain things out there affects people. Hell, we learn that shit just with doing YouTube. People tell you all day about how just something so little that you feel like you're doing is major to them. So, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm just about pushing shit on whichever way I can. So that way people... What, what is it again for my people in Houston? org or com, one of them. Harris. Which one is it? <laughs> Figure it out. Hell, it's internet. Just Google it and then it's gonna it's gonna make there you go. To the right it's page. gonna pop up. It's gonna pop up right for send you. Send you to a virus website. This, this, this I listen is what to these I niggas. Wish. Honestly, honestly Sorry. and truthfully, this is what I wish for my people. I wish that we get out of this mentality of everything just being given to us. I really wish we would stop doing that because and I'm not saying because of you dub or you Ross, because you looking at me like No, I get what you're saying. I feel the same way. I'm, I, I, I wish we would we would raise our children to be go getters like how we were, how we had to go and figure out stuff for ourselves. It wasn't given to us. You know, right now it's such a popcorn generation, everything is at your fingertips. Knowledge, um, um cheating on the test, whatever the case may be. It's Ooh. just so simple. It's it's simple. It was hard to cheat. Back and then, boy. Exactly. It's hard to cheat. But now everything is at your fingertips. Just you know, and, and, and when something <laughs> isn't and when there's something isn't at your fingertips, it's it's labeled or considered as a um discrepancy inconvenience. or inconvenience. Oh, this is so inconvenient. I don't want to do this. Well, why not? 
why not if it's going to help you better or further along your knowledge on who to vote for or the the things that are going on in your local community or the community that's not even yours the community that affects your family you know but that's what i'm saying i wish we would get out of that mindset of well i didn't know because nobody told me okay because somebody got to tell you to wash your ass every day no you do it why because it's a must it's a necessity you eat because it's a must it's a necessity you know what i mean right some people don't do that either. I mean, it I, is, but but I'm that, what I'm saying. Regardless if you don't or not, like some people don't use the internet. Some people don't wash their ass. You, <laughs> you, you, gotta, you, gotta, you, know you gotta be honest though. Some people don't even know where to start on some information. Um, but I mean that's the thing because I, I agree totally with. Honestly, I feel like black people we we got to hand out so much. Um, and this is just me personally speaking. I feel like we need to just start. I always say this. We need to make shit on our own. Like I, I was listening to something, I forgot who was talking on Instagram, but they was like, "Nigga, why don't we make our own fucking app?" <laughs> like, like, like how Instagram is, because I believe they posted something and Instagram deemed it uh, untruthful or some shit, so they kind of like blocked it. And it was just Niggas. like a simple. And he was like, "Bro, why the fuck don't we just have our own app?" A nigga create. I think that was King Los. They said that. Mm. Like, why don't we create our own app? Niggas gonna pull up. He said, Diddy, all these niggas with billions of dollars. Um, why don't we create some shit? Niggas gonna pull up for it. We the influence. So if we there, everybody gonna follow us there. Why don't we do some shit like that? And it just <laughs> I feel like that about everything. I be so tired of hearing, you know, us rant and cry and whine about shit. Them niggas never gave a fuck before, they're not about to give a fuck now. Constitution mm-hmm. was never written for us. It never had a nigga in that motherfucker in a positive light when them niggas was sitting at that motherfucking table writing that shit in that nice ass cursive handwriting. But anyway, that shit was nice. I, I, I was like, bro, you can't make no mistake on that motherfucker either. Yeah, you gotta be one on one, my nigga. Like you can't. John oh, Hancock fuck. for real. Damn it, John, you're out of here. But nah, um, <laughs> like for real though, like <laughs> I just wish personally we stopped begging for shit we gotta take what the fuck is ours and do it the smart way you know what i'm saying like we talk about gangs we the dumbest in gangs like them motherfucking mafias and shit them niggas had their own niggas they put them niggas in school and they Mm -hmm. were the lawyers for them they had mm-hmm. they they had everybody in the place. They had banks. They don't bought banks. They, yeah, they bought everything. Mm-hmm. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. He gonna be the future. This. He gonna be the future. That. Mm-hmm. Nigga, you seen how deep that shit got. You know what I'm saying with the presidential shit and mm-hmm. the uh, the unions and shit like that. Like mm-hmm. the niggas mm-hmm. was was calculated. You feel me? And I just hey, if y'all it's 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 a long ass movie, but if y'all get a chance, y'all gotta watch uh, the Irish. Yeah, that that shit. What? Oh, what? The Irish. The Irish. Irishman? That movie was bomb, bro. That movie was so bomb. You know it's crazy. I watched the whole movie, but not the last few minutes. <laughs> oh, you just missed it. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. I was like, man, and then something happened, and I ended up never just watching it again. That shit crazy. <laughs> but now nah, it's like I feel like we need to be calculated, huh? I, I'm finna say it, it to go along with what y'all was saying, like you know, Blueface. They asked Blueface in, a, in an interview he did. Blueface, uh, Blueface? You said they asked Blueface. <laughs> I, I checked out. I was like, all right. Um, That's why I said Blueface, Blueface? They asked him, was he voting? He was like, no. Nah. And they was like, well, you know, this is an important election, man. He was like, yeah, but, you know, I, I, I don't think I'm married yet, you know, in my life to where I just, you know, take voting serious or whatever. And, like, they was like, so, you know, like, I mean, you know, he was like, yeah, I just, I, I don't know. Like, he just didn't have an answer for it. So, like, Charlemagne was like, well, you know, at the end of the day, he was like, it wasn't like he was, you know, just opposed to not voting. He just, mm-hmm. he was like, I just feel like Blueface is ignorant. He needs to be educated on why it's important to vote. Mm-hmm. Now, on one end, <clears throat> that's true. Blueface is just ignorant. And it wasn't like he was opposed to it. He just, you know, doesn't know the importance of it. Now, on the other hand, you can look at it and say, 
Yo, bro, at the end of the day, you're 23 years old. Nobody should fucking have to tell you mm. why it's important to vote. You know what I'm saying? I mean, at the end of the day, you have to, like, understand at some point in time that these decisions are being made with or without you. You know what I'm saying? Now, at the end of the day, for somebody who does not understand everything, I do feel like, you know, we... Warren, to piggyback off what you're saying, coming up with a, a way to get people educated on these things is is definitely something we could talk about off off camera, you know, and really and figure it out. Thank, thank you, Joe. But, thank you. <laughs> but but again, I mean, people gotta want to do it. And then I have to say this one last this one last thing about that. Um, piggybacking off of what Joe said, when these celebrities that have these huge followings get on Instagram and get on um, Facebook and stuff, and they speak from a um, ignorant a ignorant standpoint, it's very irresponsible. Mm -hmm. Very irresponsible mm -hmm. because people who have these fan bases need to realize that you now hold a power that the average person does not hold. Mm -hmm. Whether you see it or not and you just living your life or whatever, okay, that's cool. But at the same time, you need to realize that you have a power now. You have power. You have a voice that's, I'm, I'm not going to say bigger than, you know, the little people, but they follow you. Mm -hmm. It's a fan base. So basically, you're here you're and all your followers are here. So whatever you say, everybody might not agree with it, but a large, the vast majority will. Mm -hmm. Because the people that follow you most likely already know your mindset. Most likely agree with what you, uh, with what you agree with. Mm -hmm. So you need to I feel like these people that have these these platforms need to be um, more aware of how they spread stuff and what they say and whether or not they are telling the truth about something or they're following something that is not completely true before you share it, because people will run with that, That's you know, true. and you it's, it's dangerous. It's dangerous to be, you know, I get it. They shouldn't be responsible. And a lot of them, well, I don't have to do this because you shouldn't be on here anyways. You have your own mind. Yeah. But what about the people that look up to you? Because it's not just adults following you. Let's mm -hmm. be real. <clears throat> adults are true. supposed to be the ones on this platform, but we all know there are 10 year olds, 12 year olds <laughs> who follow Eminem. Or or right. or, or y'all or the average person that has a, a huge um, following, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So it's irresponsible, highly irresponsible for you to be just so negligent to not give accurate information or information that is vital to the community you came from and the community that supports you. So I just I felt like I needed to say that because I see a lot of um, a lot of artists, a lot of people who are you know, high in the ranks of Instagram or whatever the case or YouTube saying or denouncing the fact that they don't have, well, y'all, I, I don't run y'all. I don't No, You don't run them. But what you say to some people, they may not have a solid home front. They may not have somebody who they could talk to about these things. So when you get on there, that may be the highlight of a day. Mm -hmm. You know, when you make this video or you talk about certain things, that might be the only type of information like that that they're getting that's true mm -hmm. you know so you have to be you need to be they, not you but people who have these platforms need to be careful because they are not just forming what they believe but they are also molding and shaping the minds of the younger people that follow them whether they want to or not and that's why having that type of power is so dangerous if you're not using it correctly. The same as the internet. But that's my spiel on that. So No, that's real. You know, most niggas just scared to say, I don't know. <laughs> most, most people are scared to fucking say, you know what, bro? I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, I need to educate myself on that. You know, because everybody feel like, I mean, some people do attack you for not knowing. But I respect you way more for saying you don't know something. Whether I expect you to know it or not versus mm -hmm. the not, you know, trying to, you know, ah, hell no, nah, it ain't me. I ain't that type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because now you kind of poison the rest of your, like you said, your following because niggas got an influence. So, um, exactly. but now nah, that was tough. Um, Ross, you want to get into that real quick before we get out? Or you, I see you setting up your, um, <laughs> you about to go. He like, all right, it's been good. This nigga setting up recording on a recording. Inception. <laughs> How ghetto is that? That's not ghetto. That's more for the people that can't see. You know, 
but no, I, I think Ben Ross. Wow, I'm being a great guy. I know. Anywho, be positive. <laughs> there you go, brother. Keep hope alive. No, I, I think we kind of we kind of really went deeper pause than I expected to. You know what I'm saying? Like this was just one of those situations where like we kind of we was talking about the political act uh the 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 political aspect of the debate and how see stupid how everything was playing out but then we really start getting more into voting and just really kind of pushing that home so i don't really think we can need to go into any other topics honestly yes. this one is one of those episodes where it's we're using our platform to try to promote people to get out there vote check do the research, man. You know what I'm saying? Please I gotta do my yourself. research too as well. You know, mm-hmm. I'm I'm not just knowledgeable on everything that's going on ballot wise, but it's always good to just hear someone tell you, hey man, just check it out. Go, you know what I'm saying? Do your research. Google is your best friend. And you know, that's that's just one of the things that uh you know we we're trying to promote here. We do it on our regular videos. We always say you know what I'm saying? Make sure you get out there and vote because it's important, man. If you want your voice to be heard, it doesn't matter the race at this point. Is If you want your voice to be heard in whatever city, state, wherever you live, get out there, take care of that, see what's best for you because at the end of the day, nothing's going to get done by just complaining about it and saying, oh, dang, this country is this and that and this, if you don't at least but did try you vote? to attempt. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, put, put yourself in that position to try to do that and, uh, hey, this was very informative shit. And I, you know what? Honestly, I didn't even know. It was, it okay. was highly, highly informative and I want to do shit like this because we got a platform and this is what we're going to do. You know what I'm saying? We're going to take the responsibility to, to push what's needed to be heard and needs to be out there on our platform. Everybody else ain't got to do it, but mm-hmm. that's something that I would love to keep doing and pushing love. You know, a lot of people is losing the sight of loving one another and they don't I love each other. Man. Big, that's a big reason why we even here on this earth, our existence mm-hmm. <laughs> is really truly based off of love. And um, we, love. we let, we letting everything divide us now. Uh, politics, all is like, even if you a Republican, if you voting for Trump, I can't hate you for your opinion. You may have a viewpoint that makes sense for you and your background, regardless of things he may say. Mm-hmm. I can't hate you for that. You are using your voice to let your opinion be heard. And I'm doing sideways as a motherfucker, though. Yeah, nah, but oh no, you gonna get the- <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna get you, especially if you got a long trench coat on and all the other stuff. But we gonna get into that. But wow, um, a long trench coat, bro, uh-uh. that's cold. Yeah, Not I'm, the I'm, trench coat. Yeah, I'm that nigga. Yeah, I'll be honest. But now, nah, um, we we do need to spread love, man. We we here to love each other, bro. Like that's that's what it's about, man. We need to encourage one another. Everybody got a different background. Everybody got a story. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? No one's perfect and big facts. You know better than anyone. You know, we are equal no matter the race, nationality, your creed, your religion. That's that's what it's about. And, Say uh, it. This was a successful podcast. Um, big facts, I love big these facts. types of conversation because we can get big facts, big facts. we can get in our bag with what we know. You know what I'm saying? And not how silly, you know, we can be, but we can actually show people a different, you know, side um, of how we really feel about a lot of things. So I passed um, the tax test. <laughs> Oh, oh really? The, the first, first go round, time. or was it the? <laughs> <laughs> it was a... <laughs> not I said. It was the you know, because you had them niggas in line like, shh. <laughs> 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 that motherfucking science and math. <laughs> science and math got everybody, bro. What'd you get on that? 1992. That's the year you was born. I know, bro. Damn, Damn. you remember the scores? Not me. I don't remember that shit. Oh, Stanford. I remember, I remember, I had, I remember I had to go to. Uh, me and Wayne was in that bitch, man. I'm telling that nigga, bitch. Me and that, me and that nigga was in that house. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 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 taking the math part. And we had to go during the summertime. We had to go hit that bitch. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like damn. No, I, 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 I don't even know if I can share this. I mean... Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, me, I remember me and the homies, everybody, you know, they used to, everybody used to line up for their test results. Um, nah, I was talking to homies who was... <laughs> <laughs> this is why Belisa is number one. <laughs> That's fucked up, bro. That's really fucked up. You know, everybody in line for the results. So you seeing everybody reaction as they coming out. 
Yeah. You feel me? Ooh. So you can tell who failed. So when one of the homies ain't, ain't passed, it's just like, damn, like you can see, like you trying not to be so energetic because you ain't got to take the shit no more. Yeah, but you also you're trying to be mindful, like, damn, I don't want right. to like rub it in. You know what I'm hey, saying? <laughs> oh, no, nah, man. Hey, hey Willow Ridge niggas ain't giving fuck buzz out there. They seen niggas crying <laughs> and feel <laughs> right down there doing flip. <laughs> okay. I was in that hole. Damn, damn that's crazy. Woo! <laughs> that sounds about. That sounds like something y'all would do. You are right? Hey, pass that math. I'm out this bitch. So Will of Ridge type of thing. Hey, hey man, Malik, you know when you fit it, bro. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Remember that. I'm just saying. All right, now you, now you, I'm just saying. Right, passing. Y'all should have been, been a title. <laughs> you ain't cheating. You ain't trying. We was on the cool shit. Yeah, we was. <laughs> what do you think? We was. <laughs> Look, we ain't gonna get into that. Uh, but anywho, uh, <laughs> whose school was the smartest? Head ass. We really all struggled. Like we all struggled. So nobody can yeah. really. <laughs> yeah, man, fuck all that shit, nigga. Real life is real, nigga. Fuck that school shit. At least especially your school. <laughs> wow, he said your school. Like he they about like to they go to the same school. They yeah, about to combine. Yeah, he gonna talk to me. Went to the one in Baytown, and you went to the one on MOK. <laughs> <laughs> they was about to combine your school with three other schools. That's what that it was. I was gonna put all y'all niggas in that bucket. <laughs> they was gonna put the middle school together with the. I was like, what? Like, uh, what's that? Uh, fucking. Uh, that's not Thomas. Houston Can or something nah, like that. It's a fucking. What's the name of that middle school right there? Off of uh, is that belt? Nah, that's um, Orm. You mean <clears throat> it, Thomas? It go, Nah, it go like from kindergarten all the way to eighth grade. Mm. My kip. Nah, we'll talk about it off the air. I don't want to disrespect nobody's set. Wow. I went there. <laughs> hey, nigga, I be looking for you, nigga. <laughs> Damn, nigga you, you got real acquainted with them niggas from kindergarten to eighth grade? That's a long time, bro. Damn. That's but nah, cute. man. It was a good episode, man. Appreciate y'all boys for joining. Joe, thank you for coming on, man. I haven't seen Appreciate you in you a Joe. minute. Uh, but we're definitely glad to have you back on here, especially before and right after elections. <laughs> so that way we can either celebrate or figure what out what the fuck niggas we ain't do. shit. Yeah. Okay. You remember who you about? Didn't we tell you to use your voice? And what you need to go out and do? But then I next use week, your voice. But then next week we're like, hey, that stimulus came in. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hey man, we're gonna use that stimulus to head our ass right back to Canada or some shit. We about yeah. to dip. I'm definitely going to Canada. That's, that's definitely my first place. Yeah, we gotta uh, get we're gonna choice. be Tory. <laughs> Not Tory. He can stay here, bro. He's he good. He, he good. Have a, he have a, new, a new hair piece. Yeah. But now nah, um <laughs> <laughs> he need to cut that shit out. <laughs> that's oh, what you need to do. Bro, did you see our react? We did a reaction, bro. He had his shit off and it looked like uh somebody Requoted me when I said it looked like them, uh, you know, them third world countries where they be building them haze, hay houses. You are stupid, bro. So the way the way it looked flat over his edge up, <laughs> like, bro, <laughs> that shit bad, bro. Oh, like, bro, cut that shit, man. Cut it off. Cut he it, shot that hole instead of me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was a good way to All end right. it. Um. <laughs> you're done. What's the, oh, what's the name of the podcast? Mm, what's gonna be the vote, vote niggas? niggas. <laughs> See, that's just like us. Vote, vote, niggas. Niggas. vote niggas. Vote my people. Vote. Vote my people. Vote. Let my people vote. You know what? <laughs> I like it. Let my people vote. I'm crazy. Oh, really? We love y'all, man. Episode thirty-three. Hey, put a halo on everybody. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's get it.